Morel mushrooms are the best mushrooms and one of the best bites on the planet, period. Yes, they're better than truffles, even though I've never had truffles. But these meaty, earthy, delightful umami bombs are addictive, a flavor unlike anything you've ever had. And in this video, I'll teach you the easiest, simplest way to enjoy these amazing, otherworldly looking mushrooms. Prep here is about as easy as it gets. After you soak these freshly foraged shrooms in water to get all the bugs off, just slice them in half lengthways. I always have a good laugh every year during morel season, which is March and April here in Durham, North Carolina, because my Neanderthal father-in-law, who we call Poppy, will drop off boxes of mushrooms, which would run you hundreds of dollars if you could buy them from somewhere at the store, but you can't. I mean, look at the size of some of these alien shrooms. I do get mushroom envy when I see people posting pictures online with shrooms bigger than their hands, but alas, I can't get too greedy as I gorge myself on pounds of these every year. My favorite is when you see them on a seasonal menu and the risotto dish will come with one or two tiny morels sliced so thin you can't even taste them. Meanwhile, I'm gobbling these by the handfuls as if they were potato chips. The next part of prep is really simple too. Working quickly, just dredge these sliced mushrooms in flour. Some people like to shake them in a bag or toss them in flour with a cooking utensil, but these morels are delicate and worth honoring in true slow foods movement tradition. So I found, once again, your phalanges proved to be the best kitchen tool available to gently toss these delicate delights. Opposable thumbs for the win. Let's go, evolution. You wouldn't know by looking at me, but normally I try to avoid using so much butter or oil. But like beer and pizza, morels and butter were made for each other, so I'll indulge here. Working in batches, plop these dredged alien looking magic mushrooms into a pan on medium heat with a healthy portion of butter and just let them sizzle for a couple minutes on each side until they're a perfect golden brown. About the only way you can mess this up is by burning them or overcrowding the pan with too many morels, which will create steam and moisture and soften them instead of creating a nice, crispy, butter-fried crust. Now, similar to pizza and chicken wings, these are best served hot and fresh out of the pan. So in my house, they're gobbled up as quickly as I can cook them. They might not look like much, but shout out Dave Chang's Ugly Delicious, because I swear this is one of the best bites of food our planet can give us. If you don't believe me, don't take my word, but heed the guidance of Iron Chef guru Alex Cornicelli, who calls morels the sacred mushroom. I always knew I liked Alex while voraciously consuming Chopped and Iron Chef episodes throughout my life, but she solidified a spot in my heart when citing the macaroni and cheese from Vin Rouge here in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina on an episode of The Best Thing I Ever Ate. She's right, it's amazing. Thankfully, my father-in-law is the best mushroom hunter around by channeling his off-the-charts Neanderthal blood. No joke, he's 99th percentile on 23andMe, and I reap the benefits. I always enjoy these morels each year, but the entire annual experience reminds me of the sacred intersection of food and family. Partly because of Poppy's generosity, but also because I get to bring a moment of true joy to my 95-year-old grandmother. She's getting lonelier and more limited in her old age, <clears throat> but the joyful look on her face when she sees these morel mushrooms almost brings tears to my eyes. I love how certain foods can provide an unparalleled nostalgic ability, and something as sacred as the morel can awaken forgotten parts of your soul. As always, I believe if you embrace slow foods and discover new flavors so you can cook with love for those you love most in this world, you can change your life. And morel mushrooms help too.